Hi everyone and welcome back to VR Gamer Dude. I'm Don and today we're going to be taking a look at another battery solution for your Quest 2 or Quest 3 headset. So I can't thank our new friends over at Nivrana enough for sending this out and sponsoring our video today. So in the video I'm going to go ahead and get that unboxed real quick. We're going to get it set up on my Quest 3 and then I'll give you some thoughts on how everything performed. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look inside the case here. Now, before I do though, I do wanna mention, I love the fact that this comes in a hard case. So, not that it's really needed for a battery. This one does have kind of a glass front on it, but it's just nice to have for storage or travel. That way you can keep everything together in one place. So, all right, with that said, let's take a look inside the battery case here. And we see we have our battery and pouch and then we've got some accessories so we'll go ahead and start by taking a quick look at some of the little accessories that it comes with uh, you know, you've got your your instruction manual here you've got a card basically wanting to make sure that you're happy with the product and asking if you're not to just go contact Nirvana directly uh, we've got a um, a velcro strip here that's going to be for securing it to the side of the headset so you don't have any wires flopping around we've got a microfiber cloth as I said the front is kind of a glass like surface or, or you know so you definitely want to be able to wipe it down that way you don't have fingerprints smudging and then last but not least we have our cable which is going to give us connection to the headset now I did find this a little interesting in the fact that it's a USB A to USB C C cable but it's kind of an interesting USB a side in the fact that it, it's dual sided so it doesn't have the traditional sheath around it I won't lie that that actually confused me at first when I first saw it I was like yeah something defective with the cable and I reached out to Nirvana about that and they said yeah you know other consumers had had that same concern so going forward past this review if you do you know order one of these you will actually get a standard USB a side with the sheath around it but either way interesting design that way you can plug it in either direction so the cord itself is a braided cord uh, it, it seems pretty sturdy and you've got your C and A end you can see it's just long enough to make it from the battery to the headset so very cool there now the battery itself comes in the pouch uh, the pouch has some really nice snaps on the back I mean these things are super sturdy uh, you know I really have to pull on them to get them to come off so I don't have any reservations that that's gonna stay on the back of the headset nicely uh, you've also got this little flap to hold the battery in and then we see the battery itself and the battery itself I really love the fact that it has a digital display on it I, other batteries I've always had the little dots that light up and you know I mean yeah it's gonna tell you how much power you have with those little dots but it's not gonna be precise this is actually going to count down from a hundred you know so it's gonna tell me where my battery level is at all time and it's got the tap to wake function so you just tap on the front and the display lights up so thought that was a pretty cool touch now on the battery itself we've got four ports here across the top you've got two USB A's you've got a USB C and you've got a, a, a lightning connector I actually had to reach out I'm not an Apple user and, and find out what that connector was so that is if you are an Apple user and you have lightning cord you can charge the battery off of your lightning uh, now that is just an input for the lightning uh, that is not an output all of the rest of them do have output and then your USB C is your input and output you can see they're all marked here on the back for for the different voltages so very cool there the battery itself is very nicely weighted I don't find it to be super heavy now it is gonna add a little weight to the headset but since it's in the back of the headset that actually works uh, as a counterbalance which is nice because you know the quest 2 quest 3 they're kind of front heavy so by putting a weight on the back of it that actually balances that weight a little bit and takes some of the pressure off of your temples or you know makes it a little nicer on your neck so all right let's go ahead and get this set up on 
on my Quest 3 and then I'll do some testing off camera and then I'll come back and give you some thoughts. Let's go ahead and get this installed. Now, as I said earlier, it is a system of snaps. As you hear there, they are really nice and sturdy snaps. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna loop it through the back of the head strap here. Now, it is really designed to be universal. Uh, it's, it's basically just gonna go on pretty much any head strap you have as long as it can loop around the back. I'm actually using a third party head strap here from Damon Light and I really like it. See the review on my channel for that as well. But you can see it goes on perfectly and it's really sturdy and once it's on there, you know, it's not gonna fall off or, or lose its place. So the last thing we need to do is just insert our USB-A here. Now they do give you the Velcro strap. I personally already have a, a, a cable management system on the side of my Quest 3, so we're just gonna go ahead and use that. And there we go, plug in, and now you can see it changes and says out. So looks like we are charging. So I have to say, after testing the Navrana battery pack over the last couple of days, color me impressed. It's The performance is good. You know, on the Amazon page, it rates it as eight hours from starting from a full charge on your headset. And I've got to say, I did actually get almost that amount of play time. Now, I personally clocked it in at about six and a half to seven hours, but it's really dependent on use case. So doing things like mixed reality on the Quest 3, that was definitely a little more demanding and you know personally I do run my headsets at almost full brightness and I'm constantly recording and streaming so for a normal user I think this battery pack would perform well and to the specs that were listed in Nevrana's description so overall I'd have to say that it definitely performs as advertised and you know even using it out and about for charging my phone and other devices worked great as well and that's definitely earned my recommendation on this one so if you're in the market for a good battery for your Quest 2 or Quest 3, and you definitely want to give the Nevrana battery pack here a look. So as always, I'll have a link for everything that you need in the description. Go check it out. And if you feel it's right for you, grab one. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. But for me, that's going to do it today. Thank you so much again, Nevrana, for sending this out. Thank you all for watching to the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.